YouTube channel and welcome back to what is like such a long awaited video, it's insane, I've been talking about doing this kind of video for like a year and a half. As you can see with the title, we are today testing a full face of Essence makeup. The only thing on my face that isn't Essence is my brows and my lashes. Um, everything else is Essence. This is the look. Let's not fanny around. Let's just jump in it. Is that a bad word? Fanny. Fanny. Let's not fanny pack around. And let's just go from me looking like this to me looking way more ugly, but then we'll get back to this. Let's jump into it. So I'm going to use this Insta Perfect liquid highlighter as my kind of primer, but more just a highlighting base. This is in the shade 10 Gold Addiction. Swatch nice in the back of my hand. So let's see. highlighting okay it touched my brow and that's upsetting me because the only thing I don't really have is essence brow products but um say lovey I had a like a little pencil and I was like nope oh if you saw the trailer for the Game of Thrones um final season <clears throat> very glowy and my face feels quite tacky but it also feels like potentially a foundation might not sit nicely on top of this like it might I don't know I might just be talking out of turn and <laughs> um, the foundation we're going to use is the essence waterproof stay matte no stay all day 16 hour long lasting makeup now my lovely, one of my lovely subscribers and followers on Instagram, Sarah went out to a store and she bought me quite a lot of this stuff. A lot of the other stuff was sent by a PR company. Um, so I'll link her Instagram down below. Please go and give her a follow. She does makeup too. She went out of her way. Anyway, she bought me this foundation and I was like, oh no, get me the lightest one and then the next one up because like I might not be that light. And she was like, oh, are you sure? Because <laughs> this is 10 soft beige. I think this is the lightest one and this is the shade of it. So Sarah, yeah, I didn't need the next one up. So I'm going to lighten it with a couple of lightening drops. I'll show you the ones that I use. These are my favourite ones, the Gosh Mix and Fix because I don't find that they all are the kind of state of the foundation or the formula or anything they just lighten it so I'm gonna pump this out the back of my hand and then um, mix it with the liner and then I do have this essence sponge which has grown enormously but it is not very soft um, and I don't particularly like the shape of it so I think I'm just gonna use my Real Techniques one because it's super soft and I love it so let me just mix this up in the back of my hand and then we'll get going it's just starting to look a wee bit better. It's still a bit orange, but I think we could probably work with it. Okay, let's try this out. I'm excited. This foundation smells really nice. So that is one layer of the foundation on my skin and I would say a very, very, very solid, medium, almost full coverage. Yeah, it doesn't actually say full coverage, but it definitely pretty much is. Like, I mean, it's still way too dark for me. You can see by the colour of my hand, like, unless I put makeup on my hands. I'm a peely wally girl. I'm literally painting this on the back of my hands to try and make my hands look lest, lest, ghostly. I think you should always put foundation on your hands because actually it makes them look way better so that's now the new thing, you have to put foundation on your hands. Okay, I'm no way going in with the second layer because I'm not having to kind of mix up that concoction again and I feel like my skin looks really good. So let's move into concealer. I've got two. They're both the same, but it's Camouflage Healthy Glow and Camouflage Matte. I think I'll go in with Camouflage Healthy Glow. This is in the shade 20 Light Neutral. I have used this quite a few times on my channel. Mm, on my channel, I'm not sure. 
but I've definitely used it. I love my autofocus, but I've definitely used it like in my day to day life. Um, so this isn't a first impression. I actually do really like this concealer. Like it's not my favorite one in the entire world, but it's pretty good, so. Oh, it's very lightening. I put a lot on though. Yeah, it's a really nice concealer. I like it. It's fine, not my favorite but it's a good cheap concealer, which is always a nice thing to find. Pretty big difference, but then it is very lightening. Um, there we go. Still like it. And I needed a bit of lightness. I'm just gonna use a little bit less on this side. Really need to crack open a new Real Techniques sponge, but does anyone just wanna get like their total money's worth out of a sponge before they throw it in the bin? How about them apples? Now, I don't know what eye look I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna jump off camera, do this eye, come back and we will do it together. I'll leave my face wet until we are finished the eyes and then we will continue, we'll set it, and we'll do all that jazz together. But let me just go away, do one eye so I can kind of gather my thoughts, see what I want to do, and then we'll be back. I've got two eyeshadow palettes, a couple of like single shadows, a metal shock eyeshadow, little chrome liners. I'll see what happens, and I'll be back soon. Give me a few minutes. So the palette I picked to use is G'day Sydney. Um, I'm not sure how much this is. I'll try and link everything down below as much as possible. This is a colour story. You get nine eyeshadows in here. I was really drawn to this green. More so than the blue, to be honest. This green's so pretty. So I've done this just kind of brown spotlight eye. You know I quite often like doing spotlight eyes or um, cut creases in general, but especially when I'm testing a new palette because then I can see how blendable things are because it needs to be really seamless, in my opinion. So this is what we're using and this is the look we're gonna do and we will not be like, really slow it's not a tutorial i'm just like trying to do a first impression because i'm not trying to keep this video a million hours long as always i'm just gonna make sure i've got no creases on my eye which i certainly do and these shades don't have names unless there was a sheet that fell out i don't remember to be honest i opened this ages ago and it does have a little mirror which is handy um, where's my brush? So I'm taking this deepest, darkest brown. I'm gonna look at my monitor a lot because when I have a backdrop, it really Fs up with my um, autofocus, even though it's, it's as far away from me as possible, trust me, but anyway. So I'm gonna put this through my crease and also underneath my eye as well. I'm just gonna make sure my inner corner and outer corner are also filled in. Because oh, it's a spotlight. Why do people slam the door so heavily? And then I'm gonna take a clean brush. It was clean, I'm just gonna wipe it off my towel. And just blend out the edges just to make sure it's nice and soft for when we add the next shade. So we're actually only using two shades in our crease, which is not. Got a pretty good look from it, so pretty happy. I mean, sorry, formula. Um, wow, so far. I know these are really new palettes. I think they're out, I'm not sure. Um, but these are their newer palettes that they're kind of promoting right now. And there are four. There's a Paris one and also another one. I have the Sydney and the New York. Initially, I was going to use New York, but then I wanted to use this green. Um, but this one is just the one. So I was like, nope, I'm using green today. I'm in a green mood recently though, so that might be why. So I've just blended out the edges of that brown, just, just softening it up really. And then I'm going in with this second shade here, which is also matte. I'm gonna start to 
just pop in this rind, blend it out. And just really softening up. I won't show you much of this because again, this shade really does perform so well and I'm just really impressed by it to be honest, so. So literally just a case of this dark brown and then this light brown in my crease and then I'll come back and we'll put on that lovely green spotlight. Um, but yeah, I'll be back in a second and this will look better. So now I'm loading up both sides of my brush with this gorgeous grain. Sorry. And I am wetting it. Because I want Max Pig. And we're going to go through the centre of the eye with this. It was a bit underwhelming when I tried it dry, which is why we're using it wet. Long story short. I don't know if it's translating on camera, like how kind of beautiful that green shade is. It's so, so pretty. But yeah, definitely wet, because if you use it dry, it was just, yeah, like I said, a little bit underwhelming and then I'm going in with this one beside it which is like a kind of copper and um, just because I thought I would be able to kind of mash it in with the brown a bit easier and I was right but I am using this dry because I don't want this to overtake the look in any way I want this to just be a transitiony kind of shade and I actually use dry this one it's Fine. I mean, I'm not having any issues with it. It's not the most pigmented metallic I've ever used, but it's like good. So I'm just going to go in with a mix of these two browns and then we will move on to the rest of the face because I don't want to spend too long on the eyes. For my inner corner, I'm going to use this Essence Melted Chrome Eyeliner. It is in the shade Steal My Heart. No, do go breaking my achy breaky cord. I'm going to paint it on. And then I'm going to pat it out with my inner corner brush. Cool, so as you would have seen, I put the green on the lower lash line. I'm going to throw my lashes on it and I'll be back and move on to the rest of the face because hurry up, Melissa, okay? Yeah, I know, I know. I know too. So the only face powder I have is this one, the Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder. So this one we're going to just flop on just to make sure my base is set. See, whenever I don't look at my monitor, I go out of focus. Like, look. No, it's not working. Look at my camera. Looking at my camera. No, it's not working. Okay, let's go in with this. White powder. Don't do drugs, kids. I think this is actually lightening my foundation, do you know? Okay. Yeah, I feel pretty set. Get my jaw a bit more. The only contour I have, it's not a contour, it is actually number 20, Bold Blonde, my must-haves, long-lasting eyebrow powder. Another product that Sarah picked me up. Um, she was like, I was like, is there a contour? And there's only this big cream contour palette and I didn't really want that. So I feel like this is gonna work really well to contour us. So let's, let's try it. Cause it literally looks like a contour shade. I mean, I think this is working perfectly well as a contour. I wish I did have like a, a different contouring product to show you but hey if a one pound a 
what I assume one pound eyebrow powder contours you really well then seems like I'm probably saving you money doesn't it which is probably not something people would say of me saving them money Do my old schnoz I mean, how well did that contour me? Does that not just look like I've used a contouring powder? If you're fair, fair light, 20 bold blonde in the My Must Haves eyebrow powder, get that as a contour powder. Because, I mean, you're never going to deep pan that or it's going to take you a very long time. Oh, my stuck in my hair syndrome. It's going to take you a very long time to pan that and that's worked literally perfectly. That's such a beautiful shade. So then we move on to another exciting product, the Essence Hey Cheeks Blush, Bronzer and Highlighting Palette. I'm trying to read it off my mirror so I don't get focus. This is cool, it's got lots of powders. It's got a light highlight, kind of a dark blush, a peach highlight or a very shimmery peach blush another blush, a bronzer, and then a deeper highlight. I'm gonna use the bronzer and one of the blushes today, um, and then I've got a different highlight to use. My bronzer brush is pretty skinny, but I'm so worried about dipping into that blush and that highlight at the same time. Let's try this out. Basically has to work because I have no other essence bronzer, so. It's a very kind of apricot-y toned bronzer. Do you know what I mean? Like I feel like I've kind of put blush on that cheek and I haven't. However, I mean, I do think it is bronzing me up. Probably for me, I'd prefer like a single bronzer, but I can see that this would appeal to a lot of people maybe that travel or like to keep quite a condensed makeup collection. Um, I'll certainly keep this and keep using it, um, especially because it took me so long and quite a few channels to get a hold of so much essence. So I'm not gonna get rid of any of this. Um, anytime soon but um, yeah I would probably prefer like a, like a single bronzer it's just something I would gravitate towards to more um, but it's bronzed me I feel pretty good yeah I feel bronzed I feel contoured good I'm really happy with how my complexion's looking I think it looks really good and then I actually think I'm gonna use that super shimmery like peach shade let me swatch it first um and see yeah i could use that as a blush so i'm gonna just like actually pinch my brush dip it into that one shade that i want let's highlight i've got two highlighting palettes they are here this is the glow to go highlight palette which is the one i'm actually going to use um, but sarah also sent me this one which is the hollow wow which is an eye and face highlight palette and i will use this one day just not today because they're so light that it's just going to have such a cast on me but this pink one brings a lot of joy to my heart um from that swatch i don't know you can kind of see it it has a lot of potential. I've only swatched it. Maybe I did try it with these ones actually. It was too pale. But again, I've been using a lot of dark foundations recently. So we're going to use this, the Glow to Go palette. And I'm going to use this first shade, the gold shade. This one just here. So I'm just going to try it dry and if needed, we'll wet it. I don't think we need to wet it. That's gorgeous. Oh, 
got a wee spot there that's now just been highlighted. That's new. Welcome, friend. I don't think I need to speak words about what you probably think I think about this highlighter palette because what you think I think about it is right. It's so cheap and it is it's really good. So, winner, winner, chicken nuggets, which is actually what I had for lunch. So for my lips, this looks like a weird combo, but I really want to use this because it says it is a liquid lipstick. Um, this is the Colour Boost Mad About Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Dangerously Yours, which looks like a kind of brown nude on the outside, but on the inside, it's like this mauvey pink. And I think the only other colour I have is a bright red, which, oh, I am tempted. You know me. But I think this might go with the eye look a bit better. And just, yeah, I'm just going to use this one. And then the lip liner I'm going to put with it is Draw the Line Instant Colour Lip Liner in the shade. So ungrateful. And I don't think it's really going to match, but it's going to be the best match that I've got. So give me one moment to just throw this on. <laughs> A wee chunk came off, that's okay. What am I always telling you? Cheap like like lip, lip, lip liners are the best. Back in the morning to change my battery. <laughs> The last product I have is the, well I've actually got two, oh two setting sprays, one is instant matte and one is you better work matte effect, I don't particularly want to use either because I don't want to mattify my skin but I'm going to use any mini mini will catch the scrub edge if you had the most I've got this one, this is the instant, the one I least wanted to use, instant matte, I want to see what the sprayer is like. That seems okay once you get it going. Let's see now. It's actually got a really nice mister on it. It's not spitty. A, a tinsy bit spitty, but it's not really spitty. And my face feels hydrated now, but I imagine I'm going to shrivel up into a prune at any moment. Because I've used like quite a heavy coverage foundation and then powder and then, you know, I mean, it's like... Mm. I don't know. This lip though, beaut. Gonna wear this again. It's gorgeous. So this of course is the finished look. And I think apart from the fact that the foundation, my ear cuffs might fall off, I'm gonna. Apart from the fact that that foundation match, the palest one was like maybe eight shades too dark for me. If that was in fact the palest one, then everything has gone swimmingly. Like, I feel like my skin looks flawless. I would wear this foundation day to day to work, out with friends, to party, to the zoo, to Tesco, to Mallorca, to the sewers, to put the bins out, to eat cabbage, to feed my fish, you know? This is very happy. I'm also super happy with the eyeshadow palette. I think a lot of you would really, really like that palette. That green is so, so stunning. And I think the eyes turned out really, really well. Um, I'm wearing Huda Beauty lashes, by the way, um, and my blue Kiko eyeliner. That's the only two things that I didn't have essence apart from brows, but I also have my brows on first on as well too. I love this lip colour and I must say it's very comfortable. I must have put on like three layers because I like line my lips and put it on then line my lips and put it on to cover the lip liner then line my lips again to cover up the mess that I made and then put another layer on and it's still really comfy. My lips look a bit dry but they are super dry. This I'm indoor central heating Scotland. I mean, I've been indoors for eight weeks, so I'm only getting central heating, so it's shriveling up my lips and there's nothing I can do about it. Yeah, I'm 
just really pleased with how this look came out. I'm sorry, I know I've, I keep looking over here, but it's because if I don't, I go out of focus because my shoe backdrop and I can't move my backdrop because my back, but blah, 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 blah. Very happy. Let me know what you guys think of this look down below. I think it's a way more wearable look than what I do usually. Um, I think a lot of you would probably rock this look in your day to day lives. No? Yes? No? Yes? No? Tell me down below in the comments. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. Also hit subscribe and leave me a comment. I reply to all of my comments. I upload videos every Tuesday, Friday and Sunday and I really hope I'll see you in my next video.